A bomb threat has been reported at the courthouse where the Aaron Hernandez murder trial has been going on at the Fall River Justice Center. I'm Carrie Chow, joined by ESPN reporter Michelle Steele, who's been covering the Hernandez trial and is at the Fall River Justice Center. Michelle, what happened earlier? It was a pretty routine day all day today, Carrie, until about noon when all of a sudden we heard kind of a commotion, actually, from the court officers. And then the judge stood up. She spoke to one of the court officers, and she informed everybody in the courtroom that the building was going to be evacuated because a bomb threat had literally been called in. In other words, someone at the courthouse answered the phone, an official, of course, answered the phone, and someone threatened to bomb the building. Right now they are investigating it. I am told that they don't expect this to be legitimate, but in this day and age, you cannot be too careful, Carrie. Michelle, what's the scene like there when you do get that announcement that there's a bomb threat at the courthouse? How was, uh, paint the picture of what the scene was like. Sure. Well, it was a pretty routine day of testimony. We had heard from his cousin. We had heard from a couple of people who were affiliated with surveillance videos in the city of Boston. And then we were just about to get into testimony from a Bank of America employee, employee who was going to talk about Hernandez's finances. And everybody was there just taking notes. His lawyers were, were discussing amongst themselves. The prosecutors were about to ask more questions. And then all of a sudden, you know, I could see a couple of court officers on the phone. The judge stands up and she announces that we have to evacuate. This uh, has not happened at all in this trial, but I was told by another court officer that it happens from time to time. Remember, there are other court cases happening at this courthouse. It's a superior courthouse where there are a lot of very serious cases being tried. So this has happened before, not in this trial, but this is something that happens uh, from time to time. But uh, as the court officer told me, you know what, you got to be cautious. At this point, have you heard any word as to whether or not this threat is related to the Hernandez case? No, not at all. They are investigating it right now. Sometimes it takes about half an hour before we get the all clear and we can go back into the building. Sometimes it takes four hours. Uh, but the court officer at the Hernandez trial was very quick to tell me there are other things going on in this building. And to me, that's an indication that they don't know yet whether it's related to this or not. Uh, lastly, Michelle, how long had the trial actually been going on until you heard the threat? The trial started this morning at about 9 a.m. And around noon, maybe just af after 12 o'clock, uh, I could see that the court officers were on the phone. And soon after that, the judge announced that we had to evacuate and all of us left. The prosecutors, his attorneys, I imagine Hernandez is being held somewhere, but everybody else is outside the courtroom right now where, where I am. All right. ESPN reporter Michelle Steele. Thanks, Michelle, and stay safe out there. Thank you.